Well, several homes had to be evacuated. Those people directed to meet at the Hill Country Bible Church. Take a look at the map there. It's pretty far southwest of the actual fire. It's on Little Elm Trail in Cedar Park, west of 183. Hundreds of people weren't able to sleep at home last night because of the fire. It either destroyed their home or got too close to their home. KVU's Pamela Combe joining us now. And how are those people doing right now, Pamela? Hey, Rob, good morning. Well, it goes without saying, you know, they're in shock. Some neighbors tell us how quickly they saw this fire grow and spread. One woman ran out with her dogs, others with just the essentials. With fire danger top of mind right now, now's the time to prepare for other potential fire evacuation. Firefighters say it's a good idea to pack a go bag that got these items in it. Snacks, medications, important documents like a social security card, cash, food for your pets, a way to receive information like a radio or a phone and extra power sources. Now, once you pack that bag, make sure everyone in your households knows where it is so that they can grab it in an emergency. Emergencies like the one that happened yesterday evening. Now, as for the fire in Cedar Park, some people didn't have time to pack much. One resident describes the smoke in the area and firefighters you know, didn't get to her in time to tell her to evacuate. She saw the fire from a distance and saw it, how it quickly spread. There wasn't like on megaphones or any, no announcements like that. So it wasn't chaotic when I got up, but I, it was so, so smoky and the flames were up higher than my car. I couldn't even see to get out and I had to go the wrong way on the street to turn. And there weren't any cars there like directing. One young boy says he didn't expect the fire to spread as quickly as it did. Yeah, I saw other people. I saw, I saw kids crying. I saw a couple of dogs run loose. A scary situation if you know people who still need a place to go for help in all of this. The Red Cross has an evacuation center set up at the Hill Country Bible Church on Little Elm Trail. That's where many residents slept last night, many hoping they can go back home soon.